Hello YouTube. Right now I'm going to be showing you is a video on an application from Marketplace. It's called Ice Cream Sandwich Launcher. You can download it for free. Uh, basically it's similar to the uh, launch Ice Cream Sandwich Launcher. Uh, now, I did a similar video on a Honeycomb one, so basically it's the same overall thing. Except mine is the soft buttons permanently on the side on landscape. Now, let's just get into some of the things that it has. Now, if you go to your settings um, drawer, you can click more, and then you can go launcher settings. Now, here in launcher settings, you can do a limited amount of alterations to it. Well, limited, I guess, not unlimited, but uh, you can do your alterations here. You can download custom icon packs and stuff like that for your liking, but uh, I'm not going to get into that because everybody has their own taste. And their own little thing if they want to do. Now you will get the Google little thing on the top. You can, uh, unlike the honeycomb launcher, this one is like you have to add it on each of your screen. It doesn't automatically add like the honeycomb one. But um, it's an added. It's pretty decent. I kind of like the fact that it's bigger, especially for the uh, Dell Street 5. And uh, ex everything seems to be working like pretty well. I have the Ginger Streak and then uh, the Custom ROM Ginger Streak combined with this the Ice Cream Sandwich Launcher. Um, I get a decent uh, I get a decent phone. Unlike running a normal firmware directly from uh, stock uh, where you get tend to get a lot of freeze-ups and glitches and stuff like that. Uh, I've had this launcher with which has a lot to do with the ginger string, but this launcher actually helps a lot. Uh, for a while now, and I've had no problems, no freezes, no nothing whatsoever. Uh, now you can do basically normal stuff. It's just you press and hold if you want to add a widget. I think you can see the little screen. It's kind of like a little bit more vibrant, more larger. You can add your own custom widgets to anything here. Uh, let's say if I wanted to add the honeycomb analog thingy, just add it and stuff like that. Now, if we go to portrait mode, that's where you get a kind of like a little different aspect of the launcher. On the bottom here, you're going to get uh, two, well, basically three soft buttons. You get your back button, but basically I have mine on the bottom. But you get your back button, you get your home button, and you get your running application button. button. Now, if you click on the home, you'll get your little screens. You get to pick wherever you want to go, and there you go. Basic stuff that you get. Now, if you click on your running apps, you will get a set of stuff, but these aren't the applications that are actually running in my background. Uh, they're kind of like little shortcuts, you could say. Uh, it is said that's supposed to be uh, fixing it will work, but I seriously thought they are going to fix it because... Um, on the honeycomb launcher, it it's the same story. They've always had no updates to it. That's just the way it's gonna stay. Uh, but this actually, I think it's a carousel app or something like that, is actually a good um, bonus add to it. Like like the honeycomb one, um, you get to jump in here real quick. But the only thing I don't like is that, like let's say if you want to go to your to your browser, marketplace, and stuff like that. But the one thing that I don't like is that it's only limited to landscape mode. I mean, portrait mode, I'm sorry. If you go to landscape mode, of course, when you're still running it, you can run it. But once you get out of it, there's no way you can start running it. So you basically have to go to portrait mode in order to get those three soft buttons. Now, your notification. Now, if you have your no notice, um, no notifications up here unless you um, scroll down. You'll be able to get your time and Wi-Fi battery and stuff like that. And then from then, you'll be able to drag down your notification center. If you want that gun, you just slide your finger up and it'll be gone. So that's kind of like a pretty added bonus. Uh, Honeycomb, I believe, had it as well. But it is a decent launcher. You guys should check it out. It's absolutely free. There's no harm in trying it out, I hope. Uh, if there is harm, it's not my fault. It's the developers, so I'm just doing a little review on it. And uh, 
that's it. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and y'all have a good day. Bye.